was a very simple fly to tie. Good fly for the beginning of the season, well, depending on the size that you tie on, but it will work all season. It's been out for many, many years and still very popular, so it's certainly worth tying and very good, a good fly for beginners. Now, the hook I'm using, I'm using a light wire hook, and this is a Super Grub size 12. 12s, 14s are good sizes, 10s as well, it's up to you. It's up to you. Now, it's, as I say, it's very simple. I'm using a uni thread AO in black. And you can change the colour of this fly, you can change them to different colours if you want. Which I have done many times. So what I'm doing there is bring the thread to the point of the hook. Now the the old way of doing it is just to have the black thread varnish it up. Now what I'm gonna do is speed it up a wee bit. This is the uni clear or uni myla clear number fourteen. It used to be I used to call it clear, it clear wrap. It's ideal for midge pupa and buzzers and such like. Now I'm going to tie this in on the way down. This is going to make the body compensate for the shine. So it's, it's going to be obviously a slight variant then. So I'm just going to run the thread down. That point there and then bring the thread up. And then basically yeah, you can either rub the, the body or you can have them touch and turns which I'm going to do, just work my way up. Should make it nice and shiny. Way up. That point there. And then make sure it's secure. Trim that up. And that's your body done. Nice and shiny. So it's uh, the vanishing time. So Now for the blushing side of the, the cheeks or the wing, we give the impression of the wing buds. It's a gl glow bright floss. This is a fine floss, and this is number 8. Again, you can use other colours, green, chartreuse, you can number 11. I mean, even blue I've used. Blue's good. That's a good one in the lake, or lake of my teeth. Or you can use tinsels, whatever you suit. This is the original one, number 8. So what I'm doing, I've got four strands. I'm just going to moisten the end there. Catch it on my side first, full into the thorax, which is from the point of the hook up to the eye. And I'm just going to fold this round to the other side. Again, catch it on. So watch what you're doing. I'm just going to go back here. Just caught that, so I'm just going to get it sitting the way I want before I go any further. You see how it wants to spread, so I'm just going to moisten it to try and control it. Sure, they're on the sides. I like to make sure they're tied in. We've got a wax on my thread. I'm not going to pull out. On the way back down, I'm going to tie in a couple of strands of peacock hair, just a natural peacock hair. Just pull it in, tying it in by the tips. I come back up. Now we can either wind the hair all over some varnish or super glue or we, we can take the hair all up and then wind some black thread the thread through to, to, to strengthen it up. It's up to yourself. You can even use a dubbin, but this is I say the original's peacock, so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some tiny black of super glue so that when I wind the hair all up it sticks. I've always found this to work extremely well. Nice and tight. Form a nice thorax with it. Give yourself plenty of room for the hackle. At least a millimetre or so. Trim away the waste. Now you want the, the right and the left. So you've got your loop of floss, and you've got the hook. Just be patient if you do that. And there we are. And then we're going to bring it down. Either side. Just making sure it's tight. Come around with a loose turn. Over the back. A couple of turns anyway, just to 
get it started. So what I'm doing here is pulling it through, making sure I've got all the fibres where I want them. You see, it's a wee bit better. Before I trim it away, and before I tighten it up, there you go. And then come in, trim away, as close, tidy up as good as well as you can. And if you do get a bit of the orange coming over the eye, slightly like there, we tip hiding it if you want to hide it anyway. It doesn't bother me, but you can wind over the top just to get a permanent marker pen and just lightly colour them up. Just touch it, and it'll go it'll go away. And then we can tie tidy up. Then you got a black hackle, hen hackle in this case, this is you can either use Chinese or Indian or genetic, whatever you have. Could be cock hackle as well, I've used them before. Oh, too small. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. Just going to offer it with the good side of the feather facing myself. The good side is the front of the hackle. And then fold this back. And keeping hold of the hackle at this point, I can bring out the tip and break it off. Now, what I'm going to do is use my small hackle pliers so I can. Sh you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, just draw these fibres back. Now, the turn, number of turns is up to yourself. If you want a really light dressing, you're only talking a turn or so. I'm going to put a couple of turns in. Come up, follow it with the thread. Open, basically, or pull down the hackle slightly so that you get the turns of thread onto the stem. Now you want a couple of turns in there. Now I usually do this all inside one go, keeping that nice and tight, draw everything back, fold back the hackle, just ignore it. Draw anything going forward to the eye, draw it back, quick finish, three to four turns, keep the thread tight, I, I know if I break that off it's going to be okay. Because it's folded back, you see, it's nice and tight, trim away your thread, and there we are, and that's the blushing buzzer. Length of the fibre you can reduce as well, you can have it shorter if you suit yourself. But you can see with having the clear wrap on the body it's ready to use, you don't have to wait till it dries or anything. And it still works, it actually shows up quite well. So then all we have to do is varnish. Just don't be shy. Even if you get it into the eye, not onto the hackle, you don't want it on the hackle. Single coat, two or three coats, it's entirely up to you, it's your flight. Make sure the eye's clean, it's using a waste piece of wire here. And there we are, and that's the blushing buzzer. <laughs>